13 News Now is your back to school station. As the first day approaches, many students are prepared to walk back into the classroom. Others plan to learn behind a computer. New at 6, Casey Baylor shows why some Chesapeake families still need virtual learning. Just like the pandemic, virtual learning has looked different over the past two years. At the start of the COVID-19 pandemic, leaders with Chesapeake Public Schools offered hybrid learning. The number of students requesting virtual really cut back quite a bit in the second year of the pandemic. But the school division still saw a need for remote learning, starting a program for high school students last year called the Chesapeake Virtual Academy. For the new school year, division leaders are expanding the program. We are offering virtual learning for all students K through 12 provided by our Chesapeake teachers. So our Chesapeake teachers are going to be the ones delivering the instruction. It will replace the virtual Virginia program for elementary and middle school students offered through the state. Division leaders always wanted to start a virtual academy for non-traditional students. School superintendent Dr. Jared Cotton says the pandemic accelerated the process. We have students who have to go on homebound because of um, any any kind of medical issue, whether it's short term or long term. And we want our students to stay connected to their teachers. Dr. Cotton says at last check, about 180 elementary students, more than 170 middle school students, and nearly 650 high school students are set to learn from home this school year. We're serving all kinds of students. We have special education students. Uh, uh, we have English language learners. We have students who are working on career and technical programs. Some of our students with disabilities have been the most successful. He says the virtual academy is a year long commitment in Chesapeake. I'm Casey Baylor for 13 News Now. Families had to apply for the Chesapeake Virtual Academy. And high school students also had the option of participating part time and take some classes in person.